California lawmakers are celebrating the first ever state-funded guaranteed income plan. The bill that passed unanimously in both houses will allocate $35 million for monthly cash payments to qualifying pregnant people and young adults who recently left foster care. BNC San Francisco correspondent Ansar Hassan joins us live now with more details on this big story. Ansar. Yeah, good afternoon. California lawmakers say this money is going to go to help a group of people that have often been neglected. But humanitarian issues aside, they say if they put the money in up front, it will save California taxpayers millions in the future. As soon as they turn 18, it's kind of like there may be resources if, if you know, the right person tells you about it. But if you don't know, you don't know. and You're just out there on your own. Kayla Mathis is a program manager at Urban Peace Movement. It's a youth-led organization that works to dismantle the impacts of mass incarceration. She also works with a lot of young people coming out of foster care. She says the $1,000 a month is a big deal. And I think that this could be a chance for, um, for young folks to kind of like better plant themselves in, in the world and just they have that security, um, especially financially. I just know that this can change the, the lives of many. It's the first state-funded guaranteed income program ever in the United States. $35 million has been set aside to pay out $1,000 cash every month to qualifying pregnant women and young adults coming out of the foster care system. There are no restrictions on how they spend it. And it's not a handout. It's not a free pass. California State Senator Dave Cortezi says the state has failed foster children. He launched a similar program when he was a county supervisor in the Bay Area. Cortezi points to data that proves that monthly cash payments can prevent a dependency on social services. If they got $1,000, uh, it gives them, you know, uh, gas in their tank, uh, you know, to go apply for a job, it allows for some daycare for their children so they can go out and work. Um, you know, it, it, it is proven to create more prosperity, not less. Senator Cortezi says research shows that 40 percent of foster youth end up being homeless. That costs cities and counties about $85,000 a year per person in additional social services. He says if the $1,000 is put towards rent, homeless rates drop. That could save taxpayers $50,000 a year per person. But what we know about the justice system, the court system, uh, the homelessness system, people show up over and over and over again, and it, and it costs the county you know, millions of dollars uh, that it wouldn't cost if we just helped them the first time around. Governor Newsom is expected to sign the bill. Anybody interested in the program should reach out to county officials. Reporting live on Hassan, BNC. Answer, thank you for that report. And error that when I see that story, it reminds you of give someone a, a hand up, not a put down. And so we'll see what happens with that. That's a great development for a lot of people there. We'll continue to follow that story out of, out of California. Indeed, and Kelly, it's remarkable to see that that story Unser is covering is actually resonating around the world. It was picked up in The Guardian in the UK and other media outlets as well. So people watch what happens here in the United States.